Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access from Larian Studios. I'm your host, Colors Faded it's episode 2. We're on the beach where you start right after the big prologue introduction ends. And we're here. The Gith ship has crashed. There's tentacles everywhere. They've done a good job of... Uh, Kind of forcing you to go in one direction here for a little bit at the start. Big huge tentacles. It's awesome. But you have your mini map over here. And there's a opportunity to loot some things. And here's the ship. This is water drink. Oh, interesting. There's a, oh, there's a dead guy over here. He he was fishing, and then Leanne yeah, looked like mangled fisher. He's like, mm, I was just fishing. He's got a perfumed letter. Ooh. Read. Sigh. I love you. There. I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again. And again. And keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so stay in here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Unfortunately. Fishing when these monsters came. Bad luck. Yeah, really bad luck. Backpack. Okay, got a bunch of food and stuff like that. Let's see. Shanties for the bitch queen. And we all row. Okay, this is that's funny. Oh, ho ho. Well, this, that's some funniness that I won't be reading. All right, let's keep rolling along here. There's things to loot. There are companions to pick up here. Oh, there's a hammer and tongs. I wonder if there's crafting in this game. I would kind of assume that there's going to be. There's this. There's an intellect devourer. Oh, I see. See, the first time playing through this, when I was just kind of getting my bearings, I did things a little bit differently. The obstacles in my path. And I didn't run into this person's shadow heart. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do in your head. A tadpole. Yes. Okay, that mind swap. I experienced it before on the ship. You felt it too? The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Agreed. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Well... Don't waste your energy on that door. Our captors might still be crawling about. I can handle myself. But you're right. Time to try something else. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Be nice to have another hand in a fight. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. All right. I'm Tav. Let's make case I didn't change my name like a ding dong. So now I'm Tav. Companions. All right. What is she? Let's find out. Uh, she's a level one cleric. She's like, we need a healer, but I am a level one cleric. Well, awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I've been playing the first part of this game without a cleric when I... When I 
again referring to my other playthrough, the, the one I very first started the game on when it came out, however many days ago that was. Um, so let's see. This ancient rune circle. Oh, this looks like it's a waypoint to allow you to fast travel to other areas, I would assume. That's kind of cool. Okay. So there's one right there. Tav. Oh. Well, let's go. Yeah, so I didn't go. Oh. Oh, they run. They take off. Abducted commoner. Abducted. They're just commoners. They're not heroes like us. Mean Scanbu. Stand ready. Go for the eyes, boo. Yes, so uh, here was this. Okay, what do we have? Oh! This intellect devourer wants to. Alright. One strike could be lethal. Or, I can go over here. I can whack the heck out of this thing. Did some damage there. Alright. So it ends my turn. Oh, this one's gonna jump down. Oh, look at it skitter across there. Oh my goodness. Okay. What does she have? What is this? Smash. 1d6 plus 2 plus 2 bludgeoning. And what else does she have for spells? Blessing of the Trickster. Grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. Charm person. Disguise self. Resistance. Guidance. Bestow guidance upon a creature. It receives a d4 bonus to an ability check of its choice. Sacred flame. Evocation cantrip. Radiant. Conjure a flame-like radiance that deals 1d8 radiant. Mm -hmm. Wow. Create water. Wow. They have a spell like create water. Call forth rain. Oh. Neat. Healing word and shield of faith. Surround a creature in a shimmering field of magic that increases its AC by two. Huh. So I can do that. Okay. And then uh, does she have a ranged weapon at all? She does not. Okay. Can I give her a ranged weapon? I can. She has a short bow now. Now can she switch? Okay, but she can't shoot because... Oh, no, she can't. Okay. And she kills it. Very good. Okay, I'm going to get her over here where she can dip it the next turn. I am here, and I can go over here, and yeah, it'll show you where you're going to move to when you make that attack. That's great. Slice the intellect of our shield of faith remains until fully rested. Oh, threatened remains permanently. An enemy is close. Creature has a disadvantage on ranged attacks. Oh, cool. And he misses. Oh, and he turns around on my backside. Oh, you little bugger. That's okay. She's going to kill him off. Oh, it's 56% chance. What happens if she goes like this? Dips. What is she to hit this thing? Man, she's 99% to hit it that way. Oh, I like that. That's much better. Okay. Alright, then she's going to end her turn. And I'm going to take a swing at this thing. And then I'm just going to end my turn. And it's going to come over here to attack. Oh, it critically hit her. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh sister, you got to take this thing. Leveling up. To level up, use the cross button on the character's portrait. Gain the benefits of leveling up. So I will level her. Let's see what happens when we level her. So she has prepared spells. Subclass features. Trickery domain. She's the trickery domain. Oh. Class feature. Spell slot. Unlocked. Hit points 15. You gain the following traits. Maximum hit points per level. 
turn undead action and new we get invoke duplicity summon an illusion to distract your enemies you and your allies receive advantage on attack rolls against a creature if both the attacker and the illusion are within three meters of it oh that's interesting wow so i can customize this and i can say cure wounds you a creature you touch regains that many hit points healing word so what is this bane Target up to three creatures. They receive what D4 penalty to attack rolls and saving toes. Command. Command a creature to halt, preventing it from moving or taking an action. Huh, okay. <clears throat> well. Your chosen class must prepare spells before using them. Guiding bolt. Guide forth a beam of light. It deals 46 radiant and grants advantage on the next second. That's very nice. Create water. Hmm. Command. I see. Prepared spells, like because I have prepared. And Bane. I did get rid of. Oh, I see. So if I go like that, I can see. Inflict wounds, shield of faith, bless. Bless up to three creatures they received you. Oh, I like that. Okay, and what if I take that one down and do this? Alright, done. <coughs> well. Very well. Okay. Now, my character. And she gains some hit points from leveling up. Shield of Faith. Alright. So here's the interesting thing. Class passives. Dueling. When you are wielding a melee weapon in one hand and the other hand is empty, you gain a plus two bonus to damage rolls. Two weapon fighting style. When you attack with two weapons, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the offhand attack. That's what I'd really like to be able to do. So if I do this. Class passives. Because defense is what? You get a plus one armor class, your likelihood of being hit while wearing armor. Two weapon fighting style. I tried this earlier and it didn't really work. But I'm going to see if it'll do that. Mm, I still don't think... I get that impression it's not going to work, but we'll see. Level one fighter. Okay, so if I go to inventory... Wait a minute like this let's go me can I put a weapon in my offhand yet I can't why not this is the thing I don't quite understand I haven't quite got unequipped haven't quite got there yet to figuring out how this actually works because you would think it would just work so cantrip action bonus action character sheet hmm so that's a very interesting thing. I wonder if they... I don't I don't know. I don't know how I get that dual wielding thing to work. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it while we're doing a Let's Play. But I do want to try to figure it out and see what's going on with it. So here we are. We're in this room. What else is there? Oh, I see. Oh, and there's people up here. Here we go. Basic poison. You can cut a weapon with that. Potion of healing and a void bulb. Okay. She probably needs to heal before we start getting into too many more things here. So let's go to inventory. Take what do we have? You can split by holding the shift key down. That's awesome. So, oh, yeah, she's got those already in her thing. Great. So, if I choose her and I say drink, recover 2d4 plus 2 hit points. Perfect. Excellent. go up here to this other area what's up here on this second level anything there's a person over here oh my gosh I like jumping it's pretty darn cool 
Yeah, Larian building their 3D environments here and their vertical environments. It's just, this is what they do and they're good at it. And I like that about their RPGs. They're awesome. A dead mind flare. We just got a skull and a potion of speed. Very nice. There's people over there. What is over here? Oh, let's go get this guy first before we deal with those people. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. Seeing his mouth's not moving. It's one of those there, little bugs. The and then it does. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Oh, kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Dexterity. Quickly roll away. I have good dexterity bonus. I need a target of seven. I'm going to roll. Yay, yay, yay. Roll. Oh, I rolled a 19. Very nice. I like that. I like the whole roll, the dice roll for the D20s. It's awesome. It, it just makes it feel a little bit more like Dungeons and Dragons. Strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You have it backwards. They snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I saw. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. What was that? What's going on? Hmm. Put the knife away and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. <sighs> I might have done the same with the roles reversed, were I a horrible little thief. Uh -huh. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarion. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Baldurian, introduce yourself. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. Yes, we do. So do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Yes. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. He's got and quite the fangs. Like a useful person to know. All right. <clears throat> I accept. Lead on. Asterion. All right, so now we have a thief, and he is right here, level up. Asterion, high elf, rogue. Maximum hit points, that's what he gets. Asterion. And Asterion, let's see. Hey, I got another. I got a couple little daggers here. What What can we do with him? I just want to check something. Can we, can he do will? He can. Hmm. That's interesting. Character sheet. Where does it say that he can do the oh, elven weapon training? Dark vision, high elf, Asterian rogue. So, bonus action offhand melee attack. Hmm. I wonder where you find out that you can do that because I can't do that with my character. I can't, I haven't been able to stick this in there. This long sword, it should be a common sword. P 
passed between hands, both fresh and battle scarred. Um, uh, could, what happens if I went short sword? And then, oh, that's why. Okay, so the long sword is actually considered like a two-handed weapon. Oh. Well then, now I get it. Who's that? So here's the other dual wheel toggle weapon set V one handed. And dual wielding is on because and you can turn it like on and off. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, well. I don't know if this is gonna be here's the other thing I don't know. What does it say? I'm one D six piercing and one D six piercing. What's that little symbol mean? <laughs> I wonder if this is like a sneak attack symbol. So it's 1d6 plus 3 and 1d6 plus 3. Or if I go with the long sword, I'm 1d10 plus 2. What's it? Oh, and this is piercing damage and this is slashing damage. That's very interesting. I wonder what I'm better off with. 1d10 plus 2 is a potential for 12 damage. Or if I go short sword and dagger... Because I'm going to be making another attack with that, shouldn't I? I'm probably better off with the long sword early. But later on, when I'm an Eldritch Knight, I'll be wanting to dual wield that sucker. Alright, come on, everybody. We we have a number of companions here. This is good. You can have four in the game, which is reasonable. Yep, but they don't have any sense. They're trying to... He thinks he's saving his daughter, but don't it's die, the die. mind flare. The person they're trying to save, it's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. Hmm. It's, I can try a persuasion check. It's clouding your minds. Look at what's in front of you. I'm going to get a roll for it. My persuasion of my target is 16. Probably can't hit that, but let's try it. Oh, no. We rolled a six. Oh, we definitely failed. Your words fall on deaf ears. The creature's hold on them is too strong. Bummer. Monster! That's my daughter! She's dying! You... You did this! You want to kill her! Oh. First time I played this... I end up not, not not fighting these people. So that's very interesting. This is all turning out very different here. Okay, who's next? I'm next, and I'm in perfect position to do this. Cleave. Fine. You guys want to fight me? We're going to fight. Alright. Then, let's see. And then what I could do is I can jump... Jumping doesn't trigger opportunities of attack. So I could jump from there to there. Oh, I like that. It doesn't trigger an opportunity of attack. <laughs> I don't have enough action points to do anything else, but I'm going to be right next to that guy. Oh. Shooting my guy, eh? Okay, hold on. Let's take a look. Does he have... A bow, he does. Excellent. Okay. So, I could go up there with a knife and I could try to knife him. What is this sub? Oh, it's blood. Douses unprotected flames. Oh, I see. So the color changes as you're going over surfaces. Wow, that's really kind of advanced. That's kind of amazing. Can I backstab this guy? Can I go over to like there? Not enough resources. But if I go right there. Alright. Now, does position... I would assume position makes it... A backstab. Oh, look. It says right over there. 88% chance. Oh, heck yeah. And not enough resource action. And I missed. <laughs> I had a high percent chance and I missed. Okay, so Shadow Heart's up next. Shadow heart, my darling. 
Um, and my guy is a little hurt. So what can I do? I got all kinds of spells here. I can bane these people. Turn undead. Invoke duplicity. Guiding, but wow. How many hit points does he have? He has one. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, guiding bolt. I don't want to use that then. Minor illusion. Sacred flame. Conjure a flame like radiance that deals 1d8. That would kill him for sure. Huh. Disguise self. That's so interesting. Or I could charm a humanoid that you can see. I could charm this fool over here. I don't really want to do that though. What if I just want to shoot him? It's 45 to shoot him? Oh no, that's not those are not good odds. Hmm. Okay. What's this one? Sacred flame. It's 45% chance to hit him with sacred flame too? No. Okay, what happens if I move all the way over here? And I switch and I hit him. It's only 60% to hit him. Well. What if I did this? Pin down. Inflicts pin down. Make a ranged weapon attack to deal 1d6 plus 1. Piercing and reduce the target's movement speed. Oh. Or smash. Oh, we'll try smash. Oh, she got him. She smashed him. Okay. He's like, I'm getting out of here. Suddenly, something convulses inside you. Your vision lurches sickeningly. You are one with your assailants. Your minds fused together. They are frightened. Lost. The creature in the wreckage is forcing them to attack you. Controlling them like puppets. Because that's what mind flares do. Its voice shivers across your brain, seeking access. Trying to bend your will to its bidding. Oh, let's see. Put down your weapons. I don't want to hurt you. Wisdom. Focus your mind. Try to break its influence. I'm going to have to roll a d20 against my wisdom, which is really bad. I got to beat a 7, though. Oh! Missed. <laughs> you feel a shock of agony as the mind flare cuts through your defenses, piercing your mind. Your vision swims, but you fight through the pain. Your assailants are still under the creature's thrall. Well, then. Okay, curse, attack, disadvantage. All right. Let's see. How many hit points does this guy have? 13 of 12. All right. What does she have? First of all, let's move her over here. What is she to hit him? She's only 50%. Um, bless. Bless up to three creatures. I think I'd like to do that. Let's bless us. Concentration broken. Bless. Concentration bless. All right, so now we are all blessed. Great. All right. And then one, not enough actions to shoot. Okay, so she's done her thing. This guy, Asterion, to shoot. He's 80% to shoot. What happens if he moves? Can I get him to move over here? Okay, and then jump comes out of the way. He's 80% to shoot. And what is this? Sneak attack range. Exploit a foe's distraction. What is he? He's enthralled. Can I... Does that work? I hit him. Alright, then it's up to me. I'm the one who's going to have to do this thing. Ranged attack or main hand attack. He's not dead yet. One hit point. Alright, finish him off. 75%. Oh, and he rerolled the natural 20. Alright. Oh, he's got a crossbow, though. Those people. The mind flayer made them its puppets. Yes, he did. Because he's a bad guy. Take all this stuff here. We got loot to loot. Loot to loot, to loot to loot. Alright, now we can talk to this guy. You approach the dying monster. Dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. Yes, it is. It end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. 
This isn't right. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You no. should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. Oh, he's trying. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. But then, the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Concentrate on its thoughts. Intelligence check. Oh! I'm failing all my rolls this playthrough. You try to break through. But it's oh my goodness. The first time through this game? The first time playing this? It slaps your efforts away. I was hitting all of the these rolls. It was awesome. Is exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet, orange pearls, radiate malice. Close the eyes forever. Squishy go to bug. Alright. Monster death is too good for no, it's not. Take all stuff. It's got skull, potion of speed, caustic bowl. All right. We got things to use here. Um, you darling. Let's see. So, how do spells work in this game? Creature you touch gains. So, what happens if I touch her? With Take your oh, so it's used. I can't use it again. Not enough spell slot. Rest at camp to replenish resources. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. And now I do. Alright. Is there anything else in here that's worth investigating? I don't think so. So, what's the map look like? Oh, I see. Overgrown ruins. Some stuff in this direction. Is this... Is this old boy here where we picked him up? Where's the other person? There's a dock down here. Yeah, those people, if you make pass your checks, they come down here, they wander down here. Hmm, so where else? There's one more. The, the gith is around here somewhere. We just have to find it. The gith, and then there's also. There may be even more that survived the crash. Yeah. And there's a wizard. I forgot Five. about this. That's unexpected. The wizard of Waterdeep. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood, an intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gale. Well met. Well met. You were on the ship as well, I presume. Very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. <laughs> By trauma, I suppose you mean that thing they put in my eye. Yes. The ocular penetration by an illithid tadpole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a Rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? No. Hmm, pity. But that'll have to wait. The primary need now is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Yes. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? Process known as seromorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer either. Powerful cleric, maybe? No. Can't say that I am. Hmm. And we'll have to find one. And fast. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help. And I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? That sounds like a plan. Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes. Deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see. I like these characters. They're not Minskin Boo, but I like them quite a bit, actually. Uh, 
This leads us back into Mind Flare Tunnel. And then up this direction. Where does this go? This is the this is the way I went before. Oh look, wait, no, 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 gentlemen, ladies, ladies, we can't skip over this stuff. Goblin scimitar. Wow. Fancy that little piece of action there in a hatchet. We definitely want to be able to loot everything. Oh, I walked before I jumped. You, my friend, come over here. Gonna have to camp. Gonna have to camp and get some health up. Oh yeah, what do we have here? So this is all the party members you're allowed to have. Is the four of them. Oh yes, here we go. This is going to be the introduction of the potential fifth person over here. The Gith. She's right there. Alright. Last time I did this, I had not found yet the cleric, so I didn't know, and I ended up with these four people and not a cleric in my party. But now, I'm going to have a decision to make. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for See, the her lips care. aren't moving because they. And if it escapes? But his how does. Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. You again. Get rid of them. Okay. Deception. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Well, let's see. Charisma check. Hmm. Eleven. Oh, we made it. A miracle. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Shadowheart approve. Gale approves. A blast. I could use more specifics. We didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where's this camp? Oh, and I have to roll for persuasion check. Oh, good. I like this. This is cool. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. See, so sometimes... Come. Sometimes their lips aren't moving when they're supposed to. And it's Enough just... Gawking. Get me down. Gotta be an early access thing. <laughs> now that they're out of earshot, sure. And this is... This is fun. Observe. Enough dawdling. Get me down. Doink. <laughs> the tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Perfect. Lies. Just get rid of her. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery. A training and now our lips aren't moving again. Yankee protocol is clear. Interesting. When and then it started to on her next you line. To a caretaker for purification. Right now I'd say that's the only problem I've really found with the game. I found one other problem in early access and that was when a character got killed. Its character got stretched out really thin <laughs> when it died. Its corpse did. There was, there was a, a floating point number went a little off somewhere. All right, good thing. When an infection with the Gaith Tagpole, we must report to the caretaker for purification. Well, all right. We shall journey together. Let's find this Krish. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Oh, very well. Wait at my camp. We can speak there. Very well. But I cannot wait long. Nor can you. All right, so at the camp, she'll show up. That's cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of camp that uh, brings back some of the old memories of uh, 
broken. Dragon Age. Must have been here a while. Oh yes, and so then somewhere up here. We should check it out, but be careful. Well, I don't want to. Let's see. Wizard prepared spells. He's the evocation school. Abjuration school. Oh, so he can pick one. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so let's customize his spells here. What does he have? Sleep, which is always a good one. Witch bolt. Fog cloud. What does that do? Concentration. Heavily obscured and blinded. Grease is always a good one. Early. Mage armor. Surround a creature in a protective magical force. Its armor is increased by three. That's kind of a nice one to have. Ray of sickness does poison. Ooh. Possibly and possibly poisons the target. And it's attack save ranged attack. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that fog cloud and add ray of sickness. And accept my wizard. I'm a little, a little nervous here about uh, continuing forward people without why don't I heal? Why don't why don't we do this? Oh, he has some. Never mind. Asterion has some. Okay, Asterion. I need to take one of those because we're gonna. I don't want us all to die here. So they heard what? They heard people's voices or something? Somewhere. What is up here? What is this? I hear the birds tweeting. Yeah, you can walk all the way around up there. You can probably jump from that direction. Oh my goodness, it's just it's just a matter of what's over there. Hmm. We can explore some of our landscape. This is very, very nice. God oh here we go, there's people down here. Who are these people? Oh, is this the this the sanctuary? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in. Sevlor's orders. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? The goblins are on our tail. Open the gate, Sevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. Oh no. Open the gates. There is a little bit of an issue here in early access with some of the uh with some of the textures. I love their goblin designs though. Oh my gosh. Oh. Cannon! No! Oh no. They can't hold the gate. Well, that's good. That means it's a sufficiently heavy gate. We'll rescue you. Okay, maybe we won't, but <laughs> we can try. This is this looks cool. This is a big old fight here. Jeez. Okay. Oh, and there's a Oh, there's a goblin tracker right there. Okay. Um, wow, we're in kind of good position here. So there's three guys there. There's four, five, six enemies. Oh, there's a seventh one over here. Okay. Can I jump up to here? Can I just jump to right there? Right there. All right, if I switch, what am I in the backstab this guy? 96% um, help. Knock in conscience. Dash. If the attack would kill, it falls unconscious instead. Throw. I have what? Basic poison. You get that. Potion of poison resistance. Okay. Simple robe. Plus three dexterity. You might want that. Potion of speed. You might want one of those. Let's see, what else we... Oh, what do these do? Eat. 
These, oh, does, does the four down in the bottom right hand corner? Oh no, the zero is the weight. The four must be how much it's worth. That's gold. I wonder what happens if you eat it. Hmm. Oh, I can examine it. Here I am examining an apple. Value, health, one. Huh, okay. Emerald ring. Small bottle. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of stuff you can throw too. Spike bulb. A sticky sap-like substance. Hmm. I'm gonna give a couple of these to my wizard. I'm not sure exactly what he can do. Short bow. What about that crossbow that I picked up earlier? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my team ready to go here. You, you have a bow. What about you? You have nothing. Can you put a bow in there? What is this? Can you use a crossbow? Can you use a crossbow? This is light crossbow. Huh. What, what is this? Apparently he can't use that. I'm guessing. What is this? Quarterstaff? Quarterstaff. That's my only thing that I can guess. Is that Either that or because it's not his turn. It won't let me do it. Maybe that's why. Alright. So go back up here. Can you coat... Oh, no, it says basic poison. It's a bonus action. Hide, shove, dip. Bon coat your weapon in the surface. Not enough bonus. I don't have a bonus action because I jumped. That's why. Okay. Slash. Slash the creature. Main hand attack. 1d4 plus piercing. 1d4 plus piercing and 1d4 plus... And just a 1d4. And fix bleeding. Oh. And this is sneak attack melee. 1d4 plus 3 plus 1d6 piercing. Exploited foes distraction. Recharge once per turn. Okay, backstab. Oh, we downed him. That was awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, geez, and he can move up to where? Here? I might just want him shooting with a bow and arrow. I'm going to move him there. I don't know if this is wise or not. We're going to find out. Okay. Next. This big thing's... He's going to shoot. He missed that person. Thank goodness. Goblin tracker. Oh, really? The Blade of Frontiers. Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Really? This guy thinks he's some kind of bad... Rallied. That's awesome. These guys are... Oh, dude, too bad you weren't a fighter, man. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. This is going to be great. Oh, my gosh. This will be fantastic. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if I want to do bonus action with him. What are my bonus dip, shove, throw, dash, knock unconscious? I don't think any of that is necessary. I think we can have him jump up right there. Oh, the jumping is so cool. Now... Sleep puts creatures up to a combined 24 hit points into a magical slumber. <coughs> he is 27. He's a bugbear. That's a 12. And that's a 19. And that's a 9. Or we can grease. Cover the ground and grease. It becomes difficult to rain. And creatures within can fall prone. Oh, yeah. Put that bugbear on the ground right there. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Suckers. Alright, I like that. Cool. He's done. Okay, and then it's it's oh it's that person's turn. Okay. In turn for Gale. She critically missed that person. He's going to stand up. Oh gosh, I love the way this looks. Oh, it critically hit him. That's no good. Okay, my darling. You're going to come over here. And you're also going to jump up here. And 
And now what I'd like you to do is either bless. Well, we already used bless. So what do you have? Resistance. Magically bolter a creature's defenses. Invoke duplicity. Summon an illusion to distract your enemies. You and your allies receive advantage on attack rolls against a creature if both the attacker and the illusion are within three feet of it. That might be useful. Sacred flame. Conjure a flame ring and deals. Yeah, that deals a lot of damage. Guidance. Bestow guidance upon a creature. It receives a plus four. A D4 bonus on ability check. I don't really care so much about that. Scroll of Detect Thoughts, I don't care about. Scroll of Revivify. Invoke Duplicity. I think Invoke Duplicity might be. Blessing of the Trickster. Grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. Ooh. I might need that on my... Uh, on this guy later. Okay. So what do we have? This person is 19... This is nine, a goblin booyaga. Okay. Sacred flame, conjuring flame like radiance that deals 1d8. I'm going to invoke duplicity next turn, I think. She's got a 60% chance to hit any of those things. Oh, it's a 100% chance to hit the bugbear because it's on the ground. Okay. Yeah, it only did three damage, but that's all right. Rallied. Condition. Four turns remaining. Increase maximum hit points. Channel divinity. Replenish resource. The number of times you can channel power of your deity's domain. Oh, I see. Maybe I don't see. Opportunity attack. Okay. They've got a lot of people here trying to help us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course it <laughs> turns that on fire. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. Okay. So I could come over here. Let's see. If I jump, how far can I jump? I can't... Oh, I see. I can almost get there. So what happens if I jump here? Switch to this. So what else do I have? I have action surge. Push yourself beyond your limits and gain one additional action. I might need that by the time this is up. Scroll of Inflict Wounds. Scroll of False Life. I don't really want to use those scrolls. Scroll of Firebolt. Okay. This is 98% chance to hit this guy. Alright. Oh, and we killed him. That's awesome. Okay, that thing is really big. Um, <laughs> I might move a little bit out of the way. <laughs> Now, can I rotate this guy? Can I? Oh, yes, I can. Wait a minute. What's that do? I see that little rotation sign, but it doesn't. it's not doing what I think it's doing with him. I was hoping to just kind of rotate him. Have him face a certain way. I got to see if I can figure out how facing works. Because right now, when I hold that down, it does this. Huh. There's got to be a way to do that, I would imagine, because facing is going to be really important in this game, I would think. All right, let's end the turn. He's going to run up on her. Ooh, and he's going to critically hit her. Jeez. Oh, this thing tried to move, and it got an attack of opportunity. And then it's going to disengage. It's 6 of 10. So I want to kill that one as soon as I can. Is she protected? Can you hit her from there? It's 80%, my friend. If I move you around there, how close are you now? You're 96%. Kill her. Almost. Darn. I was really hoping he'd be dead. We gotta kill these characters so that we can have enough people here to fight the. Wow, Featherfall. Plotting next move, it said. Oh, that's fun. It's going to come over here and rape here, this thing. Wow. Oh, and he's going to push him into the fire. Push is really cool. I pushed a guy off a balcony the first time I was playing through this game. Action Surge. He's going to take another. So maybe he's going to swing twice on this thing. Oh, but he missed on his second one. Okay. What do you have? You have more Grease Thunder Wave. Spiky bulb. That's the other thing. Um, 
I want to move you a little bit here. This, what is this? A sticky sap like substance trickles down the spikes of this bulb. You could get three of these guys. Oh, yeah. And the fire is going to cause it to do extra damage, I think. Oh, they're bleeding. It's spiky. Oh, so it makes them bleed, and now they're all bleeding. They're burning and bleeding. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, I like that. I'm going to end Gale's turn then. Oh. oh, it missed. Oh, and she missed that. Oh, that was our chance. A chance to take one more off the board here. Oh my goodness. This is so great. This is so... this. The combat very much has that... Oh, nice. We did take one off the board. It has that... Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 feel because of the turn-based stuff, but it's still just really kind of fantastic. I like this a lot. Alright. Uh, Sacred Flame. Blessing of the Trickster. Yeah, I don't need to use that. Resistance. Turn Undead. Not useful. Invoke the summon an illusion to distract your enemies. You and your allies receive advantage on attack rolls against a creature if both the attacker and the illusion are within three feet of the creature. Okay, but to do that, she's got to be closer. Oops. Um... So if I do this, if I move her to, say, right there, and then I do this duplicity thing, and I invoke it right there. Okay. Oh, it's like a little totem. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, they killed another one. All right. That's fantastic. Okay, me... I can go up here, pinned down, make a ranged weapon attack, yeah, I don't want to do pinned down, I think I just want to jump up here and, and try to kill this thing. Seventy-five, do the damage, three, that's not great. Okay, so end of turn for Tav. That thing eats her. She's dead. That thing is brutal. Dang it. I was really hoping she'd stay alive, but that thing is extra brutal. We're going to have to kill it. Oh my okay, she's dead. Yay. Oh, and it was right next to the totem, and then he pushed it back. <laughs> Alright, what is this? He's 70% to hit the warg. What do we have left? We have the warg and the bugbear. He's 80% to hit the bugbear. Can we use a ranged sneak attack? Now, this is exploit a foe's distraction. But he's not distraction, is he? Invalid target. No, but it says it's a valid target for that. Alright, I'm going to shoot it. <gasps> no! He rolled a 20 and critically hit him. Awesome! Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. Okay, I'm going to hang out there. This says I'm going to disengage. Oh, and you missed. Oh, and you missed. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do you want to do here? Firebolt evocation. Early moat of fire, but you probably can't do it, can you? You can hit him with 91. Okay, hold on. Witch Bolt, evocation spell, 1d12 lightning. What is this guy's weaknesses? Threatened. An enemy is close. Creature has disadvantage on range attacks. So range attacks do good damage to it. And then... I can't see, like, any kind of resist for it or anything, so... Hmm. So if I did Witch Bolt. 91. Oh. Well. 
and then Gale. Let's see, that's Gale and then Shadowheart. Yes, and she went, didn't she? Oh no, she hasn't gone yet. Okay. Witch Bolt, that is fancy. I'm a little hesitant to bring my cleric up that close, but... She's got 50 to hit it there. Or, Blessing of the Trickster, grant another creature an advantage on stealth checks. What is this guy? Barth. What is he? He's level 3. He's a high elf. That's all it says. Rallied, threatened. It doesn't say anything about class, so he's just Barth. What, I got, what about this guy? He's a level 2 warlock. Okay. And what did it say about Barth? He's a, just level 3. Alright. So, Guidance. Bestow Guidance on a creature. It receives a d4. Nope, I don't need that. Sacred Flame. Yeah. So this and resistance magically bolsters a creature's defenses. It receives D4 to saving throws, which isn't that big of a deal. This thing's just going to melee stuff to death. So I think Sacred Flaming it would be good or just shoot it. Wait a minute. Can she jump anywhere? She can't. Okay. Pin down. Reducing the target's movement speed. Uh, she might miss, but... It is pinned down. Yay, she hit it. Alright. I can finish this guy off. He's got four points. Just kill it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. End my turn. This thing's pinned down. He critically misses this guy. He comes over here by the totem, so that totem should help my allies. He's got a 91% to just shoot this thing. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's kill this warg. There we go. Perfect. I like the sounds of that. Oh, well. Do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. Party banter. Waiting, like a lovesick puppy. Short time, and it's been a long day. Better stop to rest soon. Party banter. That's what we're all looking for. We want the party banter. That's so nice. There's a bunch of stuff up here. Her totem's still here. That's funny. Bugbear. Dead. Is there anything we left behind? There's Ramira. There's a goblin tracker. It says empty and everything else. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Hey, no, 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 no. We need the, we, You're not. Don't close that gate. We're coming in. Okay, we check the bugbear. Ramira. Oh, there we go. It's going to open for us. Awesome. Stop that. Okay. End. Oh. <coughs> Druid Grove. Well then. All right. Oh, there's going to be some. It's going to be some kind of cutscene up here. We'll do this, and then we'll end the episode. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. Straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Let's see. Druid, those goblins didn't take any prisoners. We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawl. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. My God, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Take a swing at the tiefling. Aim a blow at the human. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. 
Now I gotta roll a d20. Oh, against a 16? Oh, good lord. Yeah, that... You are not persuasive. Roll again! Oh, I can try one more roll. Okay, let's roll it one more time and try it. You're not gonna beat a 16, but... Oh no, I failed. Oh, I can keep rolling? Why can I keep rolling? Wisdom, insight. Why can I keep rolling, I wonder? And who the hell are you again? That's interesting. Oh. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. Hmm. <laughs> you put him in a bind showing up like that. Oh no, I'll just let him speak. He was right though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Well, that's interesting. Okay, and so we have a character who wants to speak with the yellow. Oh, this is this is fantastic. This is easy. Let's check for healer, then move on. Whatever else is happening here isn't our concern. You're supposed to be a cleric. Let's not be too hasty. These people might need help. We won't help anyone if we turn into mind flayers. That is true. Oh, Let's and e move. everybody disapproves. Okay. Oh. Everybody says, hey. Oh, and what happened? Oh, well, hold on. Let's see about Zevlor. Level 3 knocked out. Regression. <sighs> Is that English? A cheap shot. <laughs> I should have expected that. I love these. I love the facial designs and everybody. They're all very unique. They're all very well done. They've done a good job with this. Aradin ran off. True to form and good riddance. This grove has troubles enough. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Hmm. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Hmm. I need a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Hmm. This ritual? Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Hmm, let's see what I can do. What are you offering for my aid? We owe you a great debt. What little we have, we'll scrape together. It isn't coin we need. It's time. Let's see what I can do. Really? We're messengers. <clears throat> We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Alright, so that'll be the end of this episode. I gotta give them credit. The voice acting is fantastic in this game. and They've got some really good voice actors working on it. It's really good. They've got some work to do on their character animations. And especially things like the lips not moving when they're supposed to and stuff like that. But I think, wow, I mean for early access, geez, what's this game going to look like in a year, year and a half from now? Um, if they smooth out the rough edges here, geez, it already looks gorgeous. It's just, you know, it's just smoothing out those rough edges really it, fantastic i'm so excited anyway folks thanks for watching um as always save the game here 
And if you want to see more, keep watching. I'm going to be posting these videos. We'll run through this. We'll see how long this first act is. That's all that's in the early access. But I'm very excited about Baldur's Gate 3. This is great. I'll see you all next time. As always, if you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel and haven't already, please subscribe. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. And if you want to support my channel, my Patreon's listed in the description below. Thanks for watching. Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. I'm your host, Colors Fade. I will see you next time.